2022 as we count down to the midterm elections. And while Republicans and Democrats in the state are running on very different platforms, one thing remains true for both parties. They cannot win this state without winning the Hispanic vote, and it's something Democrats have struggled with in recent years. And Local 10's Cody Weddle is joining us. He's in Coral Gables with the effort underway there to win over the Latino vote. Cody. Kirsty and Louie, analysts like to talk about the Latino vote. Here in South Florida, we know that this group is not a monolith, but support for Democrats has waned over the past few, few years among Latinos here as well. The question this year, will that trend continue? Democrats today at a Coral Gables bookstore rallying supporters focused on the Hispanic vote in the final stretch before Election Day. Candidates from across the state joined by actor and filmmaker Lynn manuel Miranda. A women's right to choose is on the ballot. Yep. And I know that you are sick of the political stunts being played with our people from our home countries here in Florida. The importance of the Latino vote nowhere more evident than in Congressional District 27, where first-term Republican any, Maria Salazar will defend her seat against challenger Annette Tadeo. We are feeling really, really good. We, uh, we are ahead. A decade ago, Democrats dominated the Hispanic vote nationally, but that support has eroded. Pew Research shows Democrats with only a 27-point advantage among Latinos ahead of this election. It's thanks in part to aggressive Spanish language campaigning by Republicans. The Democrats have this habit of, you know, strolling into South Florida every couple of years with these uh, Hispanic celebrities, and they think that's going to get them uh, win the sympathy of Hispanic voters, and that's just not how it works. Lynn Manol Miranda, great guy. Nobody cares what he thinks about politics. Democrats today going after Republicans on social issues with inflation still stubbornly high. We asked Annette Tadeo why she's the best candidate on the issue. Calling votes uh, and bills socialism is not the answer. You are supposed to go there to work together to bring the country forward. And so this is still one of the races to watch the latest polls showing the race for Congressional District 27 is still within the margin of error. We're live in Coral Gables. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.